I decided to play every Call of Duty game I own. I've already done so many Call of Duty videos already, but this time I decided to play every World War II Call of Duty game I own. <laughs> and of course for today's video we are playing... That's right, everybody. We are playing Call of Duty 2. And I bet most of you watching right now have never played this game before. Which I don't know how the heck you haven't played this, but you know what? It, I can't go that anyway. So, of course, for today's video, I'm going to be playing on the Xbox 360 edition of Call of Duty 2 on my Xbox Series X because I'm not going to play on PC because I actually want to play it on console. So, yeah, it's pretty basic from there. And I'm just going to play the campaign and just play the different sections of the different armies, whatever. Then start talking about a bit with Call of Duty 2 and whatever comes in my brain, like what I always say all the freaking time. Well, if you were expecting me to play multiplayer, well, I have to say that no one's playing multiplayer in 2024, so I'm sorry about that. But hey, if you want to see the campaign of it, be my guest. But anyways, oh, shut up. Let's get into the video. Ah, some days you wonder, what the heck are you doing? And all of a sudden, I gave myself the, uh, well, it's Call of Duty 2. And, uh... Let's play it. You know what's the funny thing about this Call of Duty 2 copy that I've got? If you don't know already, this is from Blockbuster. They don't exist anymore. Man, this was when Call of Duty was killing it. All the way back in, I don't know, I think in 2005 or some shit. Well, damn, Call of Duty 2. What's up, everybody? My name's Jonathan, and thank you so much for clicking on this video for today. And like what I said in the beginning of the video, we are playing every Call of Duty World War 2 game that I have. And like what I said earlier, I already played World at War, so that's already ticked off the bloody book. And I decided to go back to Call of Duty 2 for today video. So I do know a lot of other YouTubers have played COD 2 and were talking about with the multiplayer and the whatever. But the only problem is, is that I don't think multiplayer even exists properly anymore. Like there's no way that like there's anyone playing multiplayer in 2024 on the Xbox 360 edition of freaking COD 2. I mean I could look. I could have a look at it quickly. Yeah yeah, yeah we're not doing this. So of course we're going to be playing a couple of the campaign missions and talk about with my experience with Call of Duty 2 because I've already completed this game off on freaking veteran before and i got to say that was the worst experience that I ever had on Bloody Cod. Yeah, because I completed it off the single player campaign on veteran difficulty all the way back in 2016. That was almost eight years ago, which is absolutely insane, man. And mate, just trying to complete this game off on veteran difficulty was so much of a pain in the ass because you can't sprint in this fucking game. So every time when you keep respawning over and over again, you just got freaking owned every two seconds and I was about to lose my freaking shit. But I got it done all the way back then when I was only freaking 14 at the time. Oh my God. God. And I gotta say as well, all the missions that COD 2 had were really bloody good, man. So anyways, we're gonna play the Winter War in Moscow, USSR 1941. Oh my god. So anyways, everybody, make sure you subscribe and also like the video, share this video, whatever you want to do. Besides that, I'll shut up. Let's do it. All right. Let's do this. Walk over to the table by Commissar Letlev. I think I butchered fucking that one, didn't I? Holy shit, look at this place. I can't imagine what it was like playing this game all the way back in 2005, I think. I mean, this was when Call of Duty was only World War II setting. And also, I look at Call of Duty now. I mean, uh, yeah, about that. I've done it so many goddamn times. I don't even know if I want to do anything anymore. Man, when every developer was so serious about what they used to do. Nowadays, good luck. This is what real men do back in 1940s. <laughs> Oh yeah, this was when Call of Duty was competing with Medal of Honor. Yeah. But hang on, most of the original developers from Medal of Honor left them and made Affinity Ward. You know what? That's history right there. Oh my god, hurry the up. Oh. To the okay, let's go, bitches. Okay, YouTube, this is a friendly video. Nothing is real. Man, how everything goes to absolute shit. Anyway, uh, how to go, boys? Oh my god, what the fuck is going on here? Wow, god damn. I do have to say to all of you, have you played Call of Duty 2 back in the day? Because I mean, mate, right. Some people have never played these older CODs before, and I'm like, you've got to give these bloody games a chance, dude. Oh my god, the PPSH. Fuck me, I miss this weapon, dude. OGs know about the World at War one. Oh my god. Oh yeah, let me call out my freaking arse, mate. That's fine. Wait. Maybe I want to run out there. It's not that bad. Oh, okay, hang on. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's definitely going to not kill us. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's get up there. Whee! Wow, this is actually great. Can't even freaking sprint. It's crazy to see that they never had these kind of mechanics like this of like no sprinting and everything. Oh, hang on. <laughs> and he did. And overall, my whole experience with Call of Duty 2 was I did play it quite a bit when I was younger and I had a really good time playing this game. I didn't play multiplayer because I didn't know multiplayer was a thing in Call of Duty for a very long time. So just playing Call of Duty 2 without worrying about anything when I was younger was just a good experience. Even though this was like around the time that World War II shooters were like new. Because we all know that Medal of Honor was one of the first World War II shooters that they probably did. And all of a sudden they decided to do it for Call of Duty and uh, yeah. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> 
Oh, yes. This is what real soldiers do. Walk around like this. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god. Watch out, soldier. We're gonna go bang, bang, bang. Ah, oh, this is like an anticlimactic. Wow. Oh, oh, was that it? Wow. Demolition. Oh, yeah, what an absolute shock of that is, I know. Opu Sonia. Oh my god, I can't say that. If there's anybody who's Russian can uh, say that for me, I would really appreciate it on the push person. Who? Oh, oh, MP40. Oh, yes. Not gonna lie, though. Cool, Judy Fee's MP40 was nice, but World at War took it to a whole freaking level, man. Ah, uh, what happened to the good old days of COD? My dad, what the fuck are we doing? Oh. You know, the funny thing is that I just realized that they use the same, like, voices and everything to make COD 4. Because obviously, I played the other COD games before I played this. <laughs> I'll go around this corner and think about what I'm going to do my spare time. Man, this is fucking... Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, YouTube, don't worry about what I'm doing. This is only a video game, okay? Anyway, uh, where are we going? Hello? Hang on, what? We're not... Oh, shit, I didn't know about that. Okay. Okay, Corporal. All right. Man, who would ever... Oh, God, man. He's uh, definitely having a good time, ain't it? He made tanks by the... Oh, my God. I always think about what I'm going to be doing in my spare time. And, of course, I'm playing an old Call of Duty game at freaking 5.25 p.m. Man, look at this play. Oh, look at this. A match. Oh, hold up. Oh, yeah. At least you know that you feel like you're in a proper war. I miss about like, the newer COD games, how they focus too much on a storyline and they uh, don't really focus on well, the player, which is you. But that's just me, ain't it? Oh, my God. Quick scope. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't do this for shit. Uh, 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 uh. I can't hear anything. It's so goddamn loud. I can't hear my freaking self, man. Oh, my God. He's got KO'd. Uh, take, take the grenade, will ya? <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. Holy shit. Uh, hey guys, uh, let me reload the gun. Oh! Man, when everybody got so excited about World War II games, and nowadays they got sick and tired of playing World War II games. Where, where are we going now? Up here? <laughs> oh! Well, thank god I'm not playing a freaking veteran difficulty because I think I would have lost my absolute shite if I did that again. Man, I cannot wait to play on the hardest difficulty on campaign for BO6. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's definitely censored. Look at the fucking face, Clem, mate. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you later. Oh my god. Oh shit. Get down. Oh, damn. I feel like most people are going to go, why the heck am I playing COD 2? Well, I've got that. Sometimes I've got no idea, man. I mean, all the love and support on this channel recently. Oh my god. I mean, I can't really say why not. I think I do forget half the time that my channel is mainly for just like a let's play, commentary, whatever, and just play the games, basically. Just talk about what the game is about quickly at the beginning of the video, then go straight into the gameplay and do whatever. And an enemy in this fucking. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, oh my god. Sometimes your objective is located on the floor above the star. Oh, really? I don't freaking notice. And look at this guy. He's like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing in my spare time. So let's just put a freaking bomb everywhere. Okay, it's good. <laughs> hey, guys, have a go. Oh, wait, I can't show the logo. Wait for the explosion. That was loud, man. A hero is no braver than an ordinary man. Imagine if we ever get a remaster of the old COD games. I gotta say, that would be really cool. But that is never gonna happen. So, I mean, Call of Duty only think about all the freckin' money that they can make. But I think about Call of Duty, this is why I think about the good old days, man. Did he say freaking coffin? Lay it in a coffin? Oh my god, fuck that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hey, hey, oh shit. Oh yeah, bring me a freaking SVT. Is this what it's called? Yeah. Well, I mean, when you play on a different difficulty, yeah, you can use whatever weapon you want. But when you play on the hardest difficulty, yep. Do you mean the game does not look bad? It still holds up pretty damn well after so many years. Which I always give credit for Call of Duty because they know how to use the engine properly and uh, make the game just look good. It might not be impressive now, but you got to remember this game came out all the way back in the early days. So now it's good enough for me, ain't it? Oh yeah, okay. If I can go like, oh, oh my god. That scream though. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, no, no am off. Oh, oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm game banged. Oh shit. What is wrong with this freaking wet? Oh man, I really want to play one of the British missions. Uh, where's Price? I want to play with Captain Price. Oh yeah. Welcome to the British. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god, the Thompson, I missed you. You know what's one thing that is really interesting with my family? That my great-grandfather was in World War II, but he actually wasn't a soldier on the front line. He was actually like a medic slash doctor. So he saw the aftermath of well, what basically happened to all the soldiers. And the amount of history that my granddad was talking about, like he did not arrive back home until like almost two years after the war ended. Because he had to go to uh, India, I believe, and help all the soldiers who were injured from there. But he never talked about it. That was the one thing that my granddad said that he never 
never talked about with World War II and what actually happened because it's something that you don't talk about. Like, come on. Like, goddamn, I never want to see what they saw, man. Which is like what I said earlier. I really respect the veterans and, uh, and I hate when people disrespect those veterans because, because it's mainly like if they were not there, we wouldn't be where we are now. Oh, so I always give my respects every time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Tima. What the fuck? I'm gonna go around here and think about what I'm gonna do in my spare time and think about what you're gonna do. Come on, man. We're gonna go over there, yeah? Oh my fucking titty balls. I got really like the damn. So any problem with these freaking old games? You only use like one weapon. Where's Price? Captain Price? Yes. I can't think this guy. Yeah, let's just put him in a freaking modern warfare. Imagine it was the same price. Man, how old would he be? <laughs> anyway. Oh, and the explosives. Oh, yeah, I forgot that this didn't really have any in uh, animation. <laughs> oh, my two. Oh, my God. Man, they fucking built different back then, bro. They were fucking this shit up in Egypt. Oh, my God, Price. I'm so sorry. <laughs> back in the day, we used to have Captain Price from Bloody World War II. But... But let you know I fucking butchered that name today. Plumber. <laughs> Let's do it. I can't see shit. See you later. Are they all because the same freaking character? Oh my god. Anybody in this freaking hole? Like, oh my god, fuck it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta keep spawning like freaking cod zombies, bro. Hey, uh, oh, is that oh? <laughs> See you later. Ah, we did it. Man, these freaking running animations are absolutely amazing. Looks like we're in for a bloody hard fight, lads. Get us back quickly, private. <laughs> Victory! I have done it! I did it because I believe in myself! Okay, before I end off this video, I want to play the D-Day missions because, I mean, every World War II game had a D-Day mission in it, even though that was a really bad thing that happened. Man, look at this freaking place, dude. Oh, fuck it, what the- Oh, people are dying. Oh my god. Oh my god, come. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Holy shit, they put a lot of effort in this, man. Hey, come on, man. I believe in you! Okay, never mind. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, 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 hang on. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you can definitely tell that the developers really took their time and were passionate about what they were making. I'm not saying, like, a lot of the developers are not passionate. Like, I mean, a lot of them are passionate, but because of <coughs> management, they just can't deal with it anymore. The problem was that most of the checkpoints were absolute shit. Like, you weren't even able to, like, go to a certain area until you complete, like, 80% of the fucking mission. This is why I absolutely hate playing this on freaking veteran, man. So I keep on dying and dying over and over and over again. Can't even tell you how many times I died. And legit, if I did this now, I think I would lose my freaking mind. <laughs> wow, that was definitely no effort at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, that fucking body. What the fuck is. Oh my god, is that a tank? Get fucked, four eyes. Yes, that's me. I'm Corporal Taylor. I bet the Germans were pissed off with this man. <laughs> fuck me. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, YouTube, this is not real. Hallelujah, jumping like a bloody, I don't know, like a kangaroo. <laughs> Holy shit, look at this place. Let me just throw a grenade in there without trying to show the freaking symbol. <laughs> that work. I'm gonna come in here and fuck you up. I did it because I believed in myself. The group was Sergeant Randall at the rally point. Okay, did it. Oh my god, look at that. Oh wow. Well, goddamn, we have done it. Well, going back to Call of Duty 2 after so many years has been a really good experience. I really have to say that if you want to go and play World War 2 games, I would strongly recommend to play Call of Duty 2 because you can definitely tell that the developers took their time on the game and actually really fought and put the detail in of everything about World War 2. So I will give Affinity Ward credit for that. But if you're looking into playing multiplayer, I would strongly recommend to go onto PC, not console, because no one's going to play this on freaking console. I mean, it's up to you because, uh, I mean, yeah, just do what you want. Well, Besides that, everybody, my name's Jonathan. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night. Take care of yourself, and I will see you guys on my next video.